out your toes. Curtsy. Open your mouth a little wide. We're Team C10, I'm Addison, and this is Allison Robotland. She's the star of a play, and just like an actress, she has two modes of operation. The showtime mode and the test or practice mode. In showtime mode, she connects to the director, an external server, and then performs an action, says a phrase, and lights up in different patterns depending on the director's instructions. In test mode, the user can choose to individually test the lights, sound, or motion using the UI. She performs a curtsy and, and says one of her classic lines for the audience. Hello, my name is Jordan Sanchez, and for the movement of the doll, we have Alice here performing a curtsy. Her arms are sewn to the sides of her dress here, to act as though she's grabbing her skirt. And for her skeleton, we have two servos sitting on a pipe underneath her, and the servos have the same PWM out channel, and are going opposite directions. And with it being on the same channel, they're going to go up and down at the same rate at the same time. And with the pipe itself, while it's being used to support the servos, it's also being used to support Alice herself so she stays steady. And they're also being used to route the wires underneath her and then into the box itself so we don't have any mess on the outside. For the external components, we have the power switch out here. We have the potentiometer for volume control, test switch to get in and out of test mode, and three test buttons on this side for each of the three subsystems, which are the sound, light, and motion. And for the motion, this is her moving. The power subsystem makes use of 120 volt AC to 5 volt DC switching adapter so that all the components are powered with 5 volts. For the lights, we are using a strip of 60 NeoPixel LEDs with a data line connected directly to the Raspberry Pi. This allows us to write a custom program so that we can flash the LEDs in a unique sequence. For audio, we are using an 8 ohm 0.5 baud mono speaker connected to our amplifier. We also have a potentiometer which will allow us to control the gain of the sound output. Hello, my name is Sarah Copenhaver. For the software subsystem, we created a robot class with two modes, the showtime mode and the test mode. These modes are chosen by use of the test switch on the front of our robot. If the robot is in test mode, then we will use interrupts to enact one of our three functions of the robot class, our speak function, move function, or light up function. This means that when the program detects that one of our push buttons is pressed, it will enact the function corresponding to that button. If the robot is in showtime mode, it will connect to the director and perform all three of our functions. But I don't want to go among mad people. But I don't want to go among mad people.